Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much. Responsibility. I'm so sorry, my viewers, those of you who have been joining me on broadcast on daily basis. I've not been able to be around for more than a week now. I've not been able to come online due to some certain issues. Wisdom, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Wilson, as a uh, wisdom. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate you, wisdom. God bless you. So it's it's been a very tough time and tough period, you know, that we have to do the needful as we are going to move into Biafra in 2023. Every stone has to be turned. We don't have to leave any stone unturned. So everyone has a responsibility. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you for joining. Good morning. An afternoon from my area so i appreciate you thank you so much Ogunapet. thank you for joining wherever you're joining as we are pursuing our freedom a lot of things are going to be happening you're going to be seeing so many things happening you're going to be seeing so many things some things that you don't expect is going to be happening and i tell you you must pay attention if you pay attention you're not going to be taken by surprise people who are going to be taken by surprise are those who are not paying attention those who are still talking about their election and the one nigeria they are going to wake up in Biafra land one day. They will just sleep and wake up and they find themselves in Biafra land. It's going to happen. You know, when we say it, people take it for granted. People think we are joking. It is not a joke. I'm not here to flatter you or to make you happy. But I'm telling you the reality. The state that we are now, when you are hearing about the state that we are now, is a time to restore Biafra. And every genuine Biafran have a responsibility. If you are a genuine Biafran agitator, if you are a genuine Biafra agitator, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter that you have a responsibility at this particular point in time. We are going home in 2023. I am not telling you to believe it. I'm not going to force you to believe it. It's left for you. It's your choice. Either you take it or you leave it. But you are going to sleep in Nigeria and you wake up in Biafra land. It is going to happen. It's coming with speed. I'm very sorry I have not been able to come online. A lot has been happened that we are supposed to discuss about. I have not been able to come online for us to talk about some certain issues due to some certain pressures that are things that i have to attend to every one of us have a responsibility i have my responsibility now and i have to take care of it it's all for good it's all for good everything you know you have to do to make sure that 2023 you're not left behind start doing it now if you have not started start, i have started my own responsibility i have started taking charge of my life i have started doing that and i'm supposed to do you know your own assignment don't wait for somebody to wake you up. Don't wait for somebody to tell you. Pick up yourself and begin to do something because we are going home in 2023. The time has come. You should start preparing. If you have not started preparing, begin to prepare. Those of us who are living abroad, reach out to your families back home. Reach out to them and tell them to get prepared. If you know any way you can prepare them, get them prepared. We are going home. It doesn't matter what they do. No matter the amount of force they bring, it can never be like the old days. We are not going back. We are not going back. And I thank you, Biyama. When you are listening, those of us who are following on the event that are happening, when you see the statement that is coming out from this people's mouth, it will encourage you the more to fight more. You saw the imposter in Asorok still playing the script they wrote for him. The imposter in Asorok, the imposter that is representing the late Muhammad Buhari in Asorok, you see him still flaunting the death of our brothers and sisters in our face. Still reminding us how he decimated our, 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 our country, how he destroyed our youths, how he destroyed our young men and women, how they starved our children to death. They keep on reminding us about that. 
and they think that by reminding us about that they are going to change us or they're going to make us fall out and they're going to make us scared they can make us scared the more they continue to do that the more we get stronger the more they continue to play on that road the more we get stronger and we will continue to move on we continue to move on a lot of things are going to happen i tell you dear friends my main purpose of coming today is to encourage everybody and tell you stand firm if you have not started preparing to go to Biafra land, please and please, if you are a genuine Biafra, begin to prepare. Unless you're not genuine. If you're not genuine, you don't have to bother. Don't get prepared. Just like those of them who are sitting in defense, those of them who are still talking about election, those of them who are still projecting their so-called evil presidents and whatever, those of them who are believing on lies that never existed, who are hoping on a peace that they know that will never come. It is so sad. But... Let them continue. Time has gone when we have to beg people. Everything today is open, in the open. Today, you and I, we know the people who are the genuine agitators. You and I know the people who are the genuine agitators. If you are not genuine today, you know yourself. We don't have to beg people. You don't have to beg anybody. When our brother Simon Emperor was talking about the issue of autopilot, people thought that autopilot is Chukwu Kabiyama in charge, directing the affairs of Biafra. You that is watching me, any place you're watching me, there is something that Chukwu Kabiyama is putting in your mind to do to make Biafra come in 2023. Begin to activate it. If you have not activated your own, activate your own responsibility and start doing it. Activate it. There is no point beginning to dance around and waste your time and energy on things that doesn't matter. This time around, we have to wake up. The people who have been distracted have been revealed. They have been exposed. I saw somebody trying to click there to join. If you want to join the platform to make a contribution, please make sure you keep your phone in this form as usual. Keep your phone in a, this form in a horizontal way so that you can be able to join. When you join, then you can be able to connect. Keep your phone this way and make sure that your rotation is on. When your rotation is on and your phone is this way, you can be able to join the broadcast and make your contribution. Thank you. So, as I was saying, please share the video. Share on your own platform. Share to family and friends. Share even to our Share it. It is very important that we share so that those who are still sleeping, those of us who think that we are just wasting our time and making noise, should wake up. But if they refuse to wake up, we are not going to force them. But the most important thing that you should know is that we are going home in 2023. You must not believe what I'm saying. It is not compulsion, you must believe me. But that is the truth. And you can't change it. That is the fact. You cannot change it. It remains that way. All you got to do is to remain there and observe. And you're going to see, you will sleep in Nigeria and you wake up in Biafra land. It is going to happen. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it. The information is being passed so that you can be able to know what is happening. You will not be taken on unawares. And the information is meant for the genuine Biafras. Those who are not genuine, definitely so many of them are not going to enter Biafra because some of them have sworn. Some of them have sworn and said that instead of them to enter into that Biafra, which will be led by autopilot, into that Biafra, which our brother Samuel Emperor will lead us into, that it's better they die. And those, those people are already preparing their burial. Their burial ceremony is going to be held. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about those who are genuinely seeking for their freedom. If you're one of those genuinely seeking for your freedom, prepare to go home. We are going home. You can see so many things that happened. I don't know the one I'm going to talk about. About Let us talk about the issue of uh, 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 the man in the creek. The man in the creek, you saw what he's playing, the game he's playing, trying to divert us, trying to divert attention. Some people are getting agitated about that. Some people are even talking about it. Let me tell you, you don't have to be distracted. It doesn't matter what the man in the creek is doing, no matter what, what he said. Forget about him. If the caliphate themselves, if the janja will know that this man doesn't have any effect, you should know that he doesn't have an effect. You heard when Lion Mohammed came out and said that this man is only trying to seek for notice. He is seeking for notice. But if he wants to be noticed, he knows the right direction to go. Forming your own security outfit of three, four, five men is not going to take you anywhere. In the Niger Delta, they are talking about in the coastal region. We have men in the coastal region. The major people who are holding the coast in the coastal region are with the autopilot. They have already joined. Every Biafra military front are together today. Every armed group in Biafra land, they are together. But it is so sad. 
that that man in the creek who is supposed to join his brothers who claim to be fighting for Biafra for a very long time, brother for children, when Biafra is being placed on the table for us to go home, he is now forming a different group altogether. What did that show you? And when you listen to his chief his, his speech, when you listen to his speech, he is forming a volunteer force for one Nigeria. If you listen to that speech very well, you hear him calling on the late Muhammad Buhari that they are ready, that they are ready, they have their volunteer force, they are ready to serve them. You see, that is why I say Chukwokukabiyama allowed what we happen today to happen. And the stage of the now, everything is very clear. We know those who are fighting for their pockets, those who are fighting for themselves, and those who are fighting for Biafra. It is very clear. As it stands today, Biafrans have a spokesperson. Mazi Simon Eba. Take it or leave it. I am not saying it for you to, to begin to be happy or for you to jump out or for you to like me. The spokesperson of Biafra today is Mazi Simon Eba. Whether you hate him or you like him, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. And let me tell you, you must not like a leader for you to elect him. You must not like a leader to elect him. You must not love a leader to elect him. It's not compulsory, you must love him. You can hate him if you like, but as long as that person is playing the role that he's supposed to play, he's good to go. If you have any personal grudge or personal hatred on Simon Eber, that is your own personal business. Go ahead with your hatred. But when we talk about the effectiveness of what he's doing to the preference struggle, it is 100% excellent. He is following the footsteps of Mazen Nandekano. Everything that Simon Eber is doing today is what Mazen Nandekano have put on the table already. Mazen Nandi kind of started it. Every single thing that Mazen Simon Eba is doing today, I have not seen anyone that is something that he just invented or something that he's done is different from what Mazen Nandi kind of was doing. And that is why I love him, I follow him, and I accept him as the spokesperson of Biafra. So it's left for you. If you are hating him because of your friend, because of your tribe, because of your relationship with somebody, because people are paying your bill, because people are giving you a recharge card or whatever, and you are hating him, that is your personal business. It got nothing to do with me. It got nothing to do with the beer France. Beer France have made their choice and they know who to listen to. They have made their choice. And for those who are getting distracted, let them continue to get distracted. For us, we are going home. It remains that way. Mazen Nandekano has given all the opportunities that need to be given to these very people to make things right, and they refused. He gave them all the respect, gave them all the opportunity, but they dashed it to the pieces. But today, Today, the state that we are today, we cannot move an age. It is Biafra or nothing. Just as Mazin Nanikan have said, Biafra or death. We are going to continue to fight for Biafra until Biafra comes. And in 2023, marks the end of it all. We are going to go all out. You saw the spokesperson of Biafra saying it. You know, when he said it, some of you are taking it for a joke. But I must tell you, I must tell you, we are dealing with the right person. We are dealing with the right person. And I remind you again, I remind you again, for those of you who are hating Mazi Simon Eba for one thing or the other, let me tell you, for somebody to be a leader, a spokesman, you must not like the person to accept him. You must not like the person personally. Whatever grudges you have against him, whatever personality you have, it is your own business. It's your own business. You must not like a leader for you to lead. What we need is competence. That is what matters. The only quality you need in a leader to elect that a leader is competence. If you are competent, you are good to go. If you are competent and you give the people what they need, you are good to go. We must not like you. I might hate you, I might not want you, but if you are confident to deliver as a leader, you go ahead and deliver. And that is how life goes. Well, for somebody to wake up and say that you, maybe because of a personal grudge you have, because of the location of the person, because of his tribe, because of his color, because of his height, because of his job, that you hate him, because of your personal hatred, now you are mobilizing people to come against him. You are just wasting your garden time. You are wasting your garden time. Today, through Mazen Nandekano, have delivered into our hand somebody that's going to lead us and direct us until we go to Biafra Land. Following the whole map and strategies of Mazen Nandekano. Every strategy that we are following today is the foundation of Mazin Nandekano led. Mazin Nandekano led those foundations at the beginning. And when he led that foundation, he told us that we are going to follow that foundation and get to where we are going. That is what he told us. And today, we are building on that foundation of Mazin Nandekano. And that foundation, that is where 
Mazi Samuel Nepal is good. He has not done anything different from the direction of Mazi Nandikano. The ESN that Mazi Nandikano instituted for us to be protected, he is making sure that ESN continues to stand up and firm. And they are waxing stronger than ever. Even the infiltrators today have been wiped away. The 100 men that Mazin Nanekano was crying about, crying about, Mazin Nanekano was crying on live broadcast, on live broadcast, asking, are there no more men in Biafra land? Are there no more men in Biafra land? A man that is surrounded by thousands of men who claim to be agitators, thousands of them. And yet he is crying and say, are there no men in Biafra land? That I need 100 men to match. And some of us then, we thought it was a joke. We begin to ask ourselves questions. We begin to look at our shoulders. How can Mazen Nande kind of be asking for 100 men when there are thousands of men surrounding him? But today, today, Chukwoku Kabiyama have used that same Mazen Nande kind of to anoint Simon Eba. He anointed Simon Eba. Even when he was captured, Chukwoku Kabiyama made sure that I was that opportunity to make that announcement. He, from that very place he was captured, the only name he remembered was Simon Eba. Tell him to go to Rio Biafra and talk to Biafran people. That was an anointing. If you don't, you can take it, you can leave it. That's your business. But that was an anointing to tell you whom to follow. And from that day onwards, Simon Epa was possessed with the spirit of Mazen Nandekan. And he's following every direction that Mazen Nandekan kept on the ground. When Mazen Nandekan told us that we're going to march, he wasn't joking. Mazen Nandekan told us that we will march after the 150 days prayer that we will march. And he was serious about it. He wasn't joking about it. But the people who surrounded him, the, 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 the criminals that surrounded him, those people who were not serious about agitation that surrounded him, they tried to distract him, they tried to bring on of distraction to push him aside and make sure that he doesn't succeed. When they pushed him, pushed him, they went instead of selling him out, thinking that it's all over. But let me tell you, all things work out for good to those that trust in Chukwokukabiyama. If you trust in Chukwokukabiyama, every single thing is going to be working for your own good. All things work for your own good. Even when your enemy is making a plan against you, thinking that it's going to push you down, at the end of the day, that thing will turn positive for you. It will turn positive. And that is exactly what has happened in the case of Mazen Nandekan and Biafra. When Mazen Nandekan was kidnapped, most of us thought that all hope is lost. We cried, we cried for days. We cried and cried for days. But today, Today, as the day goes by, you begin to see why Chukwu Kagapema permitted that kidnap to happen. Because if Mazen Nandekano was not kidnapped, let me tell you, there are so many people who have been exposed today that would not have been exposed. And they will continue to be a hindrance to the genuine people. They will continue to be a hindrance to the genuine people. Mazen Nandekano is human. He is just one person, human. So you, can, you, can, you can't expect him to be everywhere at every time. But Chukwoku Kabayama knew this time he's going to come, and that was why Chukwoku Kabayama took Mazen Nandekan by him. I can even tell that Chukwoku Kabayama that permitted that he's, he's the one that orchestrated that he's kidnapped. He kidnapped Mazen Nandekan. And today, you can see how all those evil men have been filtered out. They have been filtered out. All of them are filtered out. Today, look at our brother in the creek. Our brother in the creek, who has been shouting and talking about Biafra. Who have been boasting, shouting, and talking about Biafra? He has been talking, even telling his own people that why must they, why would they follow Biafra? Why would they pursue Biafra? This was a man who opened his mouth and said that, that there have never been any man alive or dead that have made Biafra go to the height that they have gone today. This same man, he confessed on a live video and said, There has never been any man dead or alive that fought for Biafra or made Biafra to brought Biafra to the world level, to the level it is today. As only Mazen Nandikan, he made that confession. And then we thought he was with his senses. He was for real. But all of a sudden, we begin to see the greed. He began to show the greed. He began to show the greed. He began to show the envy and jealousy. Ask me, what was the problem? What did Martin Nandekan do? Nothing. Nothing. There was nothing. No, Martin Nandekan has no problem with him. Never fought him. He began to castigate, began to attack. Because he thought that he can only be relevant in the contraption called Nigeria. That is the only way he knows he will be relevant. They will always come and bribe him, give him money to calm the militants down. Even when he knew that the militancy in that area that he's protected, the militancy he's talking about, he is not fighting for his people to have a better life. He's only fighting for his own personal gain. Because if he is fighting, if his militancy is for a better life for his own people, he will insist on fighting for the complete and absolute control of the resources in his land.
He will have nothing to do with one Nigeria. But today, that man is the person who has formed a security outfit and he's calling Buhari that they are ready. That he has volunteers to support the impost in Nasrallah. They let Muhammad Buhari. Go and listen to the broadcast he made. He said that he has volunteers. That their volunteers are ready. He was calling on the impost in Nasrallah. This is a man who claimed to be fighting for Biafra and freedom of his people. Remember, he was the same man who formed the Biafra uh, government or whatever. From Biafra government now, he is now forming a security outfit to fight. Even when there was a call, he had the call. A call was made by the spokesperson of Biafra, Mazda Simon Epa. Mazda Simon Epa threw that call open and made it open for every Biafra agitator, every militant group, every Biafra agitator, every force in Biafra land to come together and march as one. It doesn't matter who leads. We're not talking about leadership here. We are talking about competence. Anything you have, bring it on the table. You might be better on this side. The other brother will be better on this side. You might be better on brokers. Some will be better on the ground. Some will be better on up. Some will be better in international affairs. Anyone you know you are good in, bring it. The spokesperson of Biafra, Master Simon Eber, made that broadcast and threw it open. He never isolated anybody. I saw that broker. The broker is still online. He did not isolate anybody. He said, if you are genuinely fighting for Biafra with your own group, any angle you are, come on board. Bring what you have. Let us join force and make sure we break this zoological republic and let everybody go to spread ways. It, it has never been about domination. Even Mazen Nankano said it, that the Biafra, mainly the Igbo Biafrans are not fighting to dominate anybody. The Biafrans, generally, they are not fighting for the world, that there are so many nations in Biafra, different nations in Biafra, and when Biafra comes, every nation will be on their own. That is the agenda of Mazen Nandekan. And he has not ever deviated from that agenda. He has never, ever deviated from that agenda. But all of a sudden, what are you seeing? Go and check his recent actions. He has removed himself. This was the person who went for that. In order to counter Mazen Nandikan, you know, when Mazen Nandikan was kidnapped, he thought that maybe Biafrans are fools. He thought that maybe Biafrans are fools. When Mazen Nandikan control was kidnapped, he thought that he can be able to disorganize things. But Mazen Nandikan tells that it will take you a thousand years to disorganize the IPOB. When Mazen Nandikan used that language, people don't understand him. When Mazen Nandekano tell you that it will take you a thousand years to disorganize IBOB, you think it's a joke. Think again. Think again. Today, you have seen another brand of IBOB. IBOB of Mazen Nandekano standing firm on the ground, unshakable. But when Mazen Nandekano looked down, he came and he formed his Biafra government. He said it's his Biafra government in, in, where? Biafra government in Nigeria. He said he formed him with Owazrike. Owazrike saw the light. He saw that there was no way there. Owazrike knew. Knew that the Biafrans know him very well. We know that he's not capable anymore. He has done his part when he has to do it. He has finished his own time has gone. It was Owazrike knew. And Owazrike, after all that, the announcement, Owazrike was the first person to pull out from their Biafra, whatever. Today, you see all of them running headers scattered. The former vice of Mazen Nanakan, you see that one, he, that, that one now is now a customer to BBC. Whenever BBC want a gossip, they will call him, he begin to gossip. Whenever BBC want a gossip, they will call that one, he will begin to gossip. This one now, he has now forgotten about that Biafra government. Now he's forming a volunteer security for Buhari. A volunteer security for that same contraption that he said he doesn't want. You see, this is how you know people who are genuine. Consistency personified. Please share this video. If you share this video, any place you are, continue to share the video to your friends and family. Share. Consistency is the key. That is our memory verse on this very channel. Consistency is the key. If you are not consistent, you are a time waster. You are wasting your time and wasting other people's time. And when you see people, the way you follow people is go and check their antecedent and their consistency. I have said it several times that before you know whether somebody is telling the truth or lying, find out why is the man or woman saying what he or she is saying. Find out why is this man or woman making the statement he or she is making. You don't just believe people and say that they said the truth. Just because somebody come and tell you that he said that he said is the truth, is the truth, is the truth. But Look inward and ask yourself, why is this man saying this at this time? Why is this man making this move at this time? That is how you know people who are genuine. 
when you look at the antecedent, that is the only time you can be able to be bold and say that this person is truthful. It's just like somebody you are in a, you are in abroad, you are working with your own brother in abroad, you are moving, and you saw policemen chasing your brother because he doesn't have a paper. Then you, you see policemen chasing your brother, he doesn't have a paper. Instead of you to hide that your brother, you say you want to say the truth because you're a truthful person. You went and showed your brother, you showed the police where your brother is hiding. You show it to police. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to make to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We we'll crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals, they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am a Nam I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor, have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you're not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. <laughs> you go everywhere. We must continue.